was stuck here. The cops won't bother me. With my belly full, maybe I can try riding Route 16 again, but I don't really like doing that whole thing, like riding over and over the same stretch of road, which is something that the track bunnies like to do. I'm not into that, but this is a great road. The only problem is when I rode it, maybe I was, I didn't eat, but when I rode it just today, I got kind of nauseous. And I get nauseous with all the, the motion back and forth. Right now, I'm, I'm going a little bit slower, so that's okay. But, truckers, last opportunity to turn around. That's kind of rude of them. Turn around now, truckers. Look how tight these uh, turns are. I mean, when you compare Route 16 to Deals Gap, Deals Gap is a lot tighter, but it's shorter. And Deals Gap has got less scenery. Deals Gap is also more of a resort at this point. But I think they tried to do the exact same thing here. Bring, bring some sort of resort sort of uh, attraction to this area because that will bring in Lots of money. They learned that from Deals Gap. Now the problem is that the back of the dragon is in Virginia. And Virginia is notorious for being shitty on speeding motorcyclists. So if the police catch you, they throw the book at you. And I've had this I had two reckless tickets in Virginia. So that's a strike against it but Marion Virginia is a great place to stay the only problem is that the the cafe resort that they're building is in uh, Tazewell 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 so with that you have to kind of go pretty far because Tazewell is not within 80 route 81 but it is a cool little town I like it I think it would probably be a little bit more profitable if they had one in Marion. But I think a hipster that knows what he's doing could potentially bring another resort to the other end. That way, when you get to Tazewell, you do your thing, you relax, you have lunch, maybe you stay in Marion, that gives you a little bit more options, but I think you guys have to... If you're listening to this video, which I doubt any of you guys are, but you have to take it more like Deals Gap. In the summer, get some photographers to come out, have some motorcyclists organize rides to Marion, Virginia. Because, you know, Marion is in really great locations. You could ride south of 81, and you get that whole Mount Rogers area, which is phenomenal. And then, of course, Route 16. So it is very ideally set. And it doesn't have the crazy traffic that Deals Gap has. It's pretty tight. I mean, like, these roads are nothing to... They're not beginner sort of roads, especially if you want to ride them at a um, decent pace. You don't want to be one of these people that it's a guardrail and it happens but the good thing about this area is that if you overshot the middle chances are cars are not coming the opposite way so just keep that in mind it's a little bit safer but at the same time it's not you know it's motorcycling so it's it's a little dangerous if you ride spirited But I find Deals Gap to be much more dangerous because the amount of traffic it gets. It became very popular in a way that it's just very dangerous now. Because people now trailer their bikes to Deals Gap 
and they just go up and down the road, which is kind of lame because the to get the whole tail of the dragon thing, okay, you run Route 29 once, and then you go out and you do some other roads. And Deals Gap offers a lot because it's in the Smokies, so it's really beautiful. And you can go off-roading. There's places that rent motorcycles. There's garages that fix motorcycles. There's parts for motorcycles because people know that you're going to be crashing. Then they have the Tree of Shame. All of these things are really nice marketing things that whoever, you know, I guess the resort did. But it's a very interesting way of marketing. And all of these things came together and motorcyclists found it to be kind of cool so people started coming there and looking at the tree of shame i mean it's really something that could be done here they just need a a few things that are a little bit oh he's gonna pull over how nice of him thanks buddy <laughs> That was nice of them. See, that's what locals do. They're just very nice around here. And I mean, I'm not going too fast, but he was moving pretty well. So that's nice of them. These turns, they're very deceiving because it looks like they're sweepers, but they're like almost switchbacks. This is why the uh, V-Twins are good. They just kind of slow you down. And they're just such a trackable engine, man. It's uh, an engine that is so good for the street that normally I, I don't really dig on the V-Twins because I'm cheap and I like efficient bikes. But man, this is a killer bike. Absolutely. And if you had an SV650, there's no excuse why you can't go full blast on here. Most anywhere, really. The V-Twin is just fantastic. And because it's a middleweight bike, it's very easy to toss around. SV650 or v strop they're both really, really good. Slow down here. Going like 70 something. Not a good idea. Oh man, my uh, thing just, Open, close it. Oh, no, 